Heroism emerged this afternoon after the deadly shooting at a gay nightclub in Colorado Springs over the weekend. Five people were killed. Many more were saved thanks to some brave patrons. One of the people who helped stop the deadly rampage at an LGBTQ plus nightclub last weekend is sharing his story of courage. It's quiet, man. When you hear gunfire, it, everything goes quiet. And I knew from the beginning that this was a, uh, it was a, it was a real, real thing. Somebody was shooting in there. Was, this horrible thing was happening. People were probably screaming, but you only hear silence. And and I had to focus. Richard Fierro says his military instincts kicked in, and he was focused on eliminating the threat. Police say Richard Fierro saved lives when the U.S. Army veteran tackled and pinned down the alleged gunman. Though he is being held a hero, he says he wishes he could have done more to protect the five people who were killed, including his daughter's boyfriend. I could have lost my daughter, I could have lost my wife, I could have lost my two best friends. So my whole family was in there. So everything in there was connected. Everyone did something, their part to, and, and, I, and I say this all the time, everyone in there had a hero moment because they did things to stay alive or to keep other people alive. The Charger thing in the background kind of got a lot of, I guess, I don't do the social media, so I, I didn't know. My daughter was telling me everybody was trending on the socks and then the, and then the uh, Chargers thing. And I was just like blown away that anybody would even think of, you know, bringing me out to the team. And That's awesome, man. I'm excited. Fancy, when did you become a fan? When I was born. I, I got a picture as a baby with Louis Coucher. Are you serious? Yeah, no, you've been a fan my whole life, so sorry. I gotta soak a little of this in. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. God dang. The kid. It's the kid. It's pretty sick. This is nice. I'm not, uh. Yeah, this is weird for me. <laughs> it's not normal stuff. Unreal. That's crazy, man. What's going on, man? Cameron, nice to meet you, Rich, man. Yeah. Holy crap. It's the Bosa, man. What's going on? Sebastian, Rich, nice to meet you, man. For those few moments when the team, it was just overwhelming. It was just like every player. Oh, hey, the kid. It's the kid, man. It's the kid. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Appreciate, appreciate you, appreciate you, you man. You. Cheers. Like everyone they watch on the on the TV and everyone they you know they they've been cheering for, they all were talking to them. It's a mind blowing event, right? I mean, I met the whole team. <laughs> and you, I just turned when I got done with my at, at my end, I turned around, and I saw my daughter just like lit up in joy. She smiles, but it's you can tell that she's still hurting and my wife's crying and it was just amazing. And for that, at least for that, that moment, you know, they were, they were taken somewhere else and, and just put somewhere where they were happy. I'm forever just, I'm grateful and, and blown away that, that the team even thought to do that. It felt really special. And, and I think that's gonna carry on to Sunday. We're, we're excited. We know we're gonna beat the, beat the Rams. So we're gonna, we're gonna be cheering and having a good time. On a glorious 57 degree New Year's Day from Southern California, we welcome you to the NFL on CBS. What the crap? Hey, it's, it's Dicker the kicker. Oh, it was, I was so nervous just coming up here. I'm like, okay, I haven't been to so far. It's, I mean, it's just, it's supposed to be awesome. So I'm excited. Crazy, so crazy. Let's do this, babe. Oh, hey, you you famous, man. Oh my God, babe. This LT, man. I'm wearing Chuck Muncie, you know what I'm saying. LT, I don't even know what's going on, man. Chargers fans, this past November, Club Q in Colorado Springs was the site of a tragic mass shooting that injured nearly two dozen people and claimed five lives. Richard Fierro, a lifelong Chargers fan who served 15 years in the military, was at the nightclub with his family when the gunman opened fire. 
Without hesitation, Richard raced across, grabbed the gunman, pulled him to the floor, and jumped on top of him to effectively end the shooting. In recognition of his heroic actions, please welcome Richard to the field as LaDainian Tomlinson will now present him with a very special surprise. Richard, you oh. are going to Super Bowl 57! Oh. Oh. Yeah, I just broke the Super Bowl! Oh, fam, give it up! Holy. Give it up for Richard Fierro! Holy! Oh my God! It's the touchdown, baby! Hey, God dang! Thank you, Mr. LT, man! You man! No way! I'm, dude! Holy crap! Oh my God, my heart! And LT! I was talking to LT, man! <sighs> Are you kidding me, dude? That was crazy. Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! As a soldier, you, at this times when you're just angry, or you run around angry all the time, and and it takes so much energy to be mad. It's so much easier to be happy. As a family, those moments bring you together. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. You no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm still beside myself. Uh, this has been a, a great experience for me and my family. My daughter's been smiling the whole time, so that's that's a win for us. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here. <laughs>